You can also overpower the game. Create enough buzz so that the system has to shift towards you. Jay-Z was a hustler over in Brooklyn for most of his young adulthood until he connected with the Notorious B.I.G. and other folks who were already having their stardom as rappers, as creators, as, as artists, getting off the street. And they told him, you know, you have a gift of gab. Maybe you should consider <laughs> changing your lifestyle. So he connected with two other hustlers, Biggs Burke, as well as Dame Dash, who both have their claim to fame nowadays too. They created something called Rockefeller, a little company. And they took their little company and they ended up talking to the different, the different music labels in New York. And they said, hey, this rapper, Jay-Z, he's phenomenal. We already have a system in place, let's go. And they all said, no, we're not gonna do that. They ended up making two really smart moves that, that would affect them for decades. The first thing that they did is that they pulled together their money. They ended up making their first single, self-produced it, called In My Lifetime, featuring Jay-Z. And then they ended up doing this extravagant, eye-popping video that looked like it was on the Cayman Islands or something. And based on the video and the quality of the song, because he actually could rap, it ended up becoming a success. And then suddenly those record labels that they had to kick in the door for, suddenly were trying to get with them. Second move was even more important. They already had leverage. Because of that leverage, they were able to do a partnership and or a distribution deal, which basically meant that the record label, in this case, Def Jam, would distribute the, the things, they would split the profits, but most importantly, Rockefeller would still own the intellectual property or the masters that were done during their partnership. So when their partnership ended in the early 2000s, they took those masters with them. And that helped make Jay-Z one of the first hip hop billionaires within a few years after Rockefeller ended. We're just gonna keep giving it away. We're gonna keep building Snapchat, we're gonna keep building Twitter, we're gonna keep building Instagram. Then go to them and say, hey man, give me a marketing deal. Like, now we built that. Yeah. And now we come back and we have to ask for things. Make enough of a buzz and then the system will shift towards you.